Daniel Defense Delta Pro 5, 8 inch barrel, the 6.5 Creedmoor. It's a varmint barrel, it's just a thick boy. <laughs> Definitely uh, half MOA, sub MOA with somebody that doesn't really have experience. Not that I have experience, but yeah. So I've been shooting the 140s, 147s. I've been digging the 147s, a little more consistent. I already made shots up to 700 yards. I mean, this thing stacks rounds. Big issue some people run into with getting the folder is this length of pull is good. With the folder, it's not. In this case, this is too long for me with the scope setup I have. So this just came in the mail. They are in stock as of September 13th, 14th. Okay, it's locked in. So. It's literally about a little, a little shorter than... 6% of that total travel, uh, total length. So I'll actually probably be extending this out now and get a better eye relief. So I, I was about quarter inch, half inch off. But yeah, this thing's been pretty solid. Got a MDT 90 degree adjustable grip coming for this. It's got the knuckle. The bolt stick on the back hasn't really been an issue like some people were saying. So if I can get it in one hand. No, I gotta fold that stock. But yeah, there's there's a little bit of side-to-side -side play with that. Nothing out of the ordinary. Well, I guess for other bolt guns, more extensive actions I had, they weren't like that. But still, I see why they did it. Hasn't been an issue. Take your time. Or not. You can still cycle it pretty quick. It's definitely a shooter. Let me know what you want to see on this one. Actually test them in different rounds or... Adding more mods to it because I'm pretty sure there's more shit I could do. I think there's a top rail. May even go pick on the side. We shall see. The possibilities are endless with this thing. It's definitely a tank, I'll say that. But it eats up recoil. Shooting off a rail with this, I really like how it's got the actual Area 419 Arca. So it's got the teeth. Sometimes these things like to come loose and it won't rattle on you. Or it won't slide back or just fall off. It's got a secondary locking system on it. Huh? QDs have been pretty solid as well. Uh, in terms of adjusting the trigger, pretty easy. Just rear bolt that comes in through here, right under here on this backside. Um, another one under this handguard or something, somewhere in there. And it's easy to turn the Allen. I will be putting a Trigger Tech Diamond in here or Hunter. The Timney one is, mm, it's all right. I just, I prefer the adjustability range of the uh, trigger tech triggers a little better. I'm not a fan of the Timney stuff, even on like Glocks and whatnot. I think trigger tech's overall better trigger, in my opinion. I'm gonna pop the bolt and that way y'all can see what I'm talking about. You just kinda, when you drive it, if you wanna drive it fast, you gotta kinda push almost straight in. Otherwise it goes pretty smooth. Safety off and on, safety's all right. Yeah, it said about two pounds, maybe. But yeah, so that's ultimately exactly what I was uh, looking for. Just playing on my playing around my uh, length of pull. I will say, uh, notice if you got bigger hands, your wrist is gonna hit right there on the backside. But if you like using that. Thumb rest, not really an issue. It's just if you like grabbing all the way around. So, from my understanding, this barrel was built around these 140 LED match, at least on the 6.5. So, yeah. Solid rifle, guys. I definitely didn't pay a regular 24.99. I think I paid like 21 or two. Can't remember. I got it off of primary arms. It was the last one they had on the 18 inch. So pretty freaking solid. Now I will say this Joker right here, it's 200 bucks plus 16 shipping from Daniel. So go ahead and snag one if you can. But they go out of stock for five, six months again. Uh, did swap out the Area 419 Hellfire brake they've had on here. So I do have a uh, cute trash panda for the time being. So that's what I uh, 
ended up putting a cute cherry bomb, which is actually sat on there pretty good. Let me go ahead and grab that for y'all. And the overall length's still pretty respectable. So this is my new setup in terms of bolt gun. A little heavy for a hunting rifle, but we're going to take it out this year. I do have the Q-Fix and 8.6 blackout, the 12 inch. Once that clears and my Q pork chop 86 suppressor clears as well, we'll be probably taking that out. But in the meantime, this will uh, be the pig slayer. We're hunting from a blind, so not really moving around too much. The extra weight would absorb that recoil. We're taking off-road vehicles to the blinds ourselves, so yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I'll see if I can insert a few clips shooting this exact setup. Don't know if I've already posted that on a short, but yeah, that's really about it. Distance. About a 10 mile an hour wind. Headshot. Send one more on that. Miss. Cut the tree down behind it. Yep. Last one. Now let you go. That'll be three, four shots. Total. Center chest hit. He's dead. Yeah, it's point two. Point two remote. So there's really not much wind down there, honestly, anymore. I'm on the yards, Delta 5 Pro. Using some 6.5 Creed more 140 gram Aguila full metal jacket. Just $24 box. Probably a little for it. C zone steel.